High Velocity Learning, or HVL, isn't anything new. It's what we do on a daily basis, enabling continuous improvement in our day-to-day -day work environment. HVL teaches us to recognize imperfections and treat them as opportunities to improve. You've probably already been doing it, but maybe you didn't know it. You see a problem and you want to fix it, so you gather some of your coworkers and together you come up with some good ideas and possible solutions. After you identify the best idea and implement that idea, thereby solving the problem, then you tell other people so they can implement that same great idea. And then you maintain that great idea so the problem doesn't come up again. And that's HVL. It's a conscientious approach to solve a problem and see it through. Think about it as four S's. First, you see the problem. Then, you swarm and ultimately solve that problem. Next, you share the solution. Then, you sustain that solution. One great example comes from a team of Navy engineers who tackled a problem with the internal countermeasure launcher. There's a device called the SSXBT that gets released from a tube where it then surfaces before sinking to the bottom of the ocean, collecting temperature data along the way. The tethered SSXBT is launched through a small tube and its tether is cut by a shear valve feature on the launch mechanism. Now because of seawater corrosion and regular use, this shear feature didn't always work and would fray the tether wire resulting in a false positive indication that the wire was clear and as a result it would damage the muzzle ball valve. Sailors knew this was failing when water would leak from the launcher's barrel. They'd report the failure and eventually the damaged muzzle ball seals would be replaced. These failures were becoming costly so the shipyards reported this problem to the in-service engineering agent or ISEA. The team of ISEA Navy engineers wanted to come up with a solution and avoid those costly replacements. After working through several different ideas, the team ultimately decided to completely remove the shear valve feature from the launch mechanism. From now on, sailors would cut the tether with wire cutters. This simple solution also gave the sailors more confidence about the state of the tether wire. Now, the ISEA provides the type commanders, or TICOMs, with kits to be installed by ship's force when the boat is in port. The tether is no longer the cause of the repairs. This team of Navy engineers shared their idea with Submarine Maintenance Engineering, Planning and Procurement Engineers, or SUBMEP, as well as their sponsors and their department, who shared it with the entire command, who shared it with the Admiral, who shared it with the other warfare centers. And, of course, the shipyards, who alerted the other platform's commanders. This solution has been sustained by both replacing the outdated device as well as by updating the standard operating procedure. Engineers continue to work on improvements to this mechanism as well as to the process. That's HVL. Identifying problems, getting together with your colleagues to solve the problems, and then, and here's the most important aspect, sharing the solution, and of course, sustaining that solution.